Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome back to another Dragon Block C tutorial video. In today's video, I want to cover something that a lot of people have asked me about, which is how to create a server for free for Dragon Block C. Now, the way I want to do it is create an online server using Eternos Server Provider. This is a hosting site uh, which allows you to provide a 24 hour server for Minecraft for free, absolutely free. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to Eternos' website by simply typing in eternos.org forward slash go forward slash, and that'll take you to the home page where you need to log in. I provided the link below. So go ahead and uh, you wanna sign up if you don't have an account already. I'm gonna sign up with Google. So once you log in, you'll see your domain name over here. This is the, the server name, this is the server address, uh, I believe, and then the addition of your server. Uh, so mine, I'm just going to be Java Edition. You can do Bedrock, but for Dragon Box C, you're going to need Java Edition. Uh, and you can name this what you like over here. Uh, I'm just going to save this as is and click Create. All right, so once you create your server, you'll be uh, taken to a page just like this. You'll see your server is offline, and uh, you'll see the software is vanilla. Your version is 1.18.2. We need to change all this to play Dragon Block C, obviously, because it's 1.7.10. Um, and we're going to need Forge, not vanilla. So we'll go ahead here and change this. So once that opens up, you're going to go ahead and click Forge. You're going to go ahead and find Forge 1.7.10 right here. This is 1.7.10. Do not click 1.17.1. We want 1.7.10. So you're just going to go ahead and click Reinstall. Click Yes. So right here, once you get that check mark, that means that you have successfully installed Forge. Go back to server by clicking this button. Okay, so now you can see we have Forge installed successfully. We're at version 1.7.10, so we're all good here. Now what we need to do is install the mods, uh, specifically Dragon Block C and the associated files with that. So we'll go ahead and click mods right here on the left-hand side. So once you get to this page, you're gonna go to the search toolbar and you're gonna type Dragon Block C. Wait, you wanna find Gin Games Dragon Block C right here, click that. All right, so once you open this up, you'll notice that there's a few versions. The latest one is actually um, this top one and Gin Games GBRA Client and Gin Games GRM Core are the main associated mods you need to install as well. To make sure you're downloading the latest version, just go to Gin Games website right here. You want to go ahead and make sure that these three mods match the mods that you're downloading for the, the server. So you got to go ahead and download these three to play Dragon Black Sea and have Forge locally on your computer. Um, but you also need to match these uh, on the Eternals website. So I'm going to go ahead and check uh, 1.4.76. Uh, 1.4.76 so that's correct so i'm gonna go ahead and download this by clicking the download button now this doesn't save it to your computer it's just saving it onto the server computer so we'll go ahead and uh, i'm gonna open this in a new window again make sure this is the latest version 1.6.48 go to gin games 1.6.48 so that's the correct one go ahead and click download we got the check mark we're good to go there and then we will go ahead and right click this open and we got 1.3.38 go to gin games and make sure it's 1.3.38 so go ahead and click that all right so we got all those figured out if you go to files so once you go to files you'll see you have a, a config file and you have a mods file if you click mods you'll notice you have the three uh, dragon block c related mods this is very similar to how you do it on your computer locally again you're gonna need to do this locally on your computer um, but in, in this process, it's very similar. These are the file, uh, these are like the Minecraft folder files within the server, uh, the server side computers. All right, so the next thing we need to do after installing the, the mods, which we know we installed because we looked in the mods folder, we installed Forge and we have 1.7.10 installed, ready to go. All you need to do now is click start. But before you do that, you wanna make sure you configure your server. So go to configure your server right here. Okay, uh, once you open up this page, you'll have a few things that you can control. How many people get to play on your server? This is set to 20 by default, which is a pretty good amount. Game mode is set to survival, so that's good. Difficulty is easy. Uh, and you know, you could turn on cracked if you're not playing, uh, I guess the premium Minecraft version, you could just turn this on. I'm gonna keep it off. Um, and you know, like just typical things you might be used to in terms of settings. Okay, now we're ready to go. I looked at the configs, everything's set up the way I want it to be. So we'll just go ahead and click start. It might take some time, so just go ahead and click that. Yep, you just wanna accept and just click okay. You can click cancel, it's just telling you if you want notifications. I'm just gonna click okay. And now we just wait a little bit as this thing starts to load. This might take anywhere between two minutes, five minutes, possibly 10 minutes, who knows. For now, we're just gonna wait and uh, when it loads up, it'll tell us that it's uh, online. But uh, for now, as the stop button is here, that means it's still loading. So just let it do what it needs to do. So now you see that it's online. The server says online, it's green. Anyone can access it by going to wallimoto underscore dot eternos dot me. If you try this, it's probably gonna be turned off by the time I upload the video. But you know, in your case, it'll be whatever address you had set it to. 
uh, you just simply go ahead and click copy that and send it to your friends and they can access your uh, server. So um, what we need to do now is uh, go to go to console. You gotta go to console here. And this will be um, basically the same console you have in Minecraft uh, as you're playing when you we type you know, forward slash and whatever. Uh, over here, you wanna type, uh, let's go OP Walimoto. You need to type OP Walimoto. Uh, or OP your name, uh, in my case it's Wally Moto, but whatever your username, your Minecraft name is, you, you type in OP and your username, and that allows you to use commands in game. Without that, you can't change it to creative mode, survival mode, or do anything you wanna do in the command line. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to server. I'm gonna go ahead and click copy here, just so it's copied to my clipboard, and I'm gonna go and open up Minecraft. Now before you launch Minecraft, just be sure in your Minecraft folder and your mods folder here, make sure you have these three because you do need the mod installed locally. Again, anyone watching this video, I'm assuming, has already played Dragon Block C and is just trying to create a server for themselves. Okay, so here, be sure that you are at Forge 1.7.10, click play. All right, so once you open up Minecraft, you'll get to the main menu. You wanna go ahead and click multiplayer, not single player, multiplayer for servers, so click that. From here, you'll see any pre-existent server you're part of. Uh, you're gonna wanna add a server if you wanna create a new one, so go ahead add a server, um, name this whatever you like. This has nothing to do with the server uh, at Eternos. This is just whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it DBC. And then server address is that address that we had on Eternos. I'm gonna go ahead and control V because we copied it. That's this address. Again, that address is this thing right here. Just click the copy button. And then once you're in Minecraft, just click control V. Okay, so go ahead and click done and give it a second and you'll see that zero people are in it and it's got a max of 20 people and it's active. You can go ahead and click this and you should be good to go. And here we are, you get the typical Jin games menu. Go ahead, click X. I'm somewhere underwater. All right, that was really, really weird. I don't know why they spawned me underwater. Um, but anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, again, click V, you'll get the typical, um, you know, Dragon Block C menu commands here. Go ahead, change yourself to Saiyan and uh, we are, we are uh, good to go. Again, I could use commands if I go forward slash, let's see, here we go. Uh, so now I can, you know, fly obviously. And if I click V, you'll get the typical menu you are used to. And you'll notice if you talk to Corin, if you go to learn skills, you'll see that your mine costs 20 and, sorry, your jump costs 20 mine and your fly costs 20 mine. You go ahead and change these settings in the config files. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that because I know a lot of people that uh, watch my videos, like to edit their configs, and I wanna show you how to do that with the server. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually exit this by disconnecting it, and you don't need to quit the game. All you need to do is just stop here, go back to your browser, to your server uh, webpage, come here, and what you wanna do is you wanna click stop. You need to stop the game, because this is like turning off the, the Minecraft on, on your end, but you're just gonna stop it, and then you're gonna go and edit the config files. Click stop, wait till it's fully stopped. It's stopping right now, it's saving and you are offline. So now you can go ahead to the left-hand side over here and you wanna to go to files. Okay, so once you get to this page, you wanna to go to config. That's typically where you do your config files. Okay, so if you are familiar with uh, some of my other videos on how to change the config files, it's gonna be exactly the same way, but you're doing it on the web page rather than on your actual computer. All you need to do is change the config files here, not on your computer. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. You need to go to the Jink Games folder right here. Now, once you're in here, you go to, I believe, uh, DBC, and then you go to the skills underscore cost.cfg, just click this. So once that opens up, you get this built-in text reader where you make all your edits actually on this page, and you just click in the file right here, so you see I'm on line two, and click Control F at the same time, and you get a search bar here. That search bar, you're just gonna look for jump, for example, right here, so 144, you'll see that the mine requirement is 20. I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Okay, it's set to 10 right there. So the other thing was fly, right? So you can go ahead and search for fly. Again, it's doing this kind of weird thing where it's moving the, the browser over, but you'll see it's right here. Let's say I wanna change it to not 20, let's just change it to one actually. What is going on here? One, and we'll delete that. And you'll see that we actually changed it to one here. That kind of excuses that kind of weird thing that's happening. Go ahead and click save and it's saving. And what you need to do now is go up to server once again. Now, once it's saved and you've made your edits to whatever they might be, just go ahead and click start. Again, you're gonna wait for that to turn on. All right, so it says it's online, it's ready to go. So what you need to do now is you just move over back to Minecraft and you just click multiplayer once again. You don't need to add anything because it's already there, it's DPC. It's got this green check mark, that means it's on. So go ahead and click this and join server. All right, so we're back in here and uh, we're just gonna talk to Corn. 
and go to learn skills and you'll notice that our edits actually saved and you'll see that uh, mine actually costs 10 instead of 20 anymore for jump and the, the mine for fly is now one. So uh, it's easy as that, right? This is so simple. Actually, it's, it's actually easier than doing it on your computer, but you, you do need the mods on your computer, but you don't need to change anything in terms of a config directly on your computer side. You just need to change it on the Eternos webpage. So uh, hopefully you learned something. Uh, hopefully you find this to be pretty valuable. And if you do, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. And do let me know if you uh, have any videos in mind or need any help. And I'll try to make uh, more server videos uh, about other mods that people like watching on my video. Uh, probably Demon Slayer is the next one I'll probably do. But anyway, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.